Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Tax pros can apply to be an IRS authorized e-file provider in a few simple steps. Simple steps are good. I don't like difficult steps. Like the steps on one of those Egyptian step pyramids. Each step being like six feet high. Imagine having to walk up those steps every night to go to bed. I'm a simple person with simple tastes. Good food, good drink, and simple steps. Anyways, first an attempt at a joke. At the last audit, the IRS said my client's business had run amok. He'll never escape the mark! Which is great, because if you run it well, there's good money in the muck business. There's always money in the banana stand. Honestly, I think the IRS has a misconception about muck because of the mismanagement of the government swamp. One dip in that toxic muck and your DNA will be permanently mutated. You'll grow a camel hump or a Zoidberg face. Ugh. But the muck can't be blamed for its mismanagement. This is all your fault. Any more than the plumbing can be blamed for the problems caused by installing one of those dang water conserving toilets. This is crap. No. As we can see in Washington, if you don't apply resources properly to manage muck, the muck winds up managing you, just as exemplified in President Biden's last speech, which harkened back to the distant echoes of John F. Kennedy. Ask not how to manage muck. Ask how muck can manage you. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask where the hell am I? I think they have it backwards. I know, Phil, managing muck is painful. You mock my pain. Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. I get it. It's far easier to allow the muck to manage you. So, Lone Star, now you see that evil will always triumph because good is dumb. IRS Tax Tip 2022-148, September 27, 2022. Over 90% of all individual federal tax returns are filed electronically, becoming an IRS authorized e-file provider. There's a link to that here. Is important for tax preparers who want to keep up with client demand and grow their business. All it takes is a few simple steps. Tax pros need to sign in or create an account for e-services access and complete the application. The e-file application is located on the irs.gov e-services webpage under the e-file provider services section. There's a link to that here if you want to get there a little bit more quickly. The access, the uh, to access the e-file application, providers need to log in with an existing IRS online account or register with the IRS's credential service provider. During the application process, providers can complete the application on their own pace or at their own pace, that should be. They can even save their progress and return to the application later. To complete the application, providers will need. So when you go into that application process, here's the stuff you want in front of you. Fill out identification information for their firm. Enter information about each principal and responsible official in their organization. Choose the e-file provider option. Return preparers who want to offer e-file to their clients should select electronic return originator. Uh, get electronically fingerprinted if needed. If the principal or responsible official is certified or licensed, such as a attorney, CPA, or enrolled agent, they must enter their current professional status information. All other individuals will need to be fingerprinted. The IRS recently transitioned to a new electronic fingerprinting process. Applicants must schedule an appointment with the IRS authorized vendor for fingerprinting. The scheduling link is located on the e-file application summary page there is no charge for this service pass a suitability check after the IRS receives the application and required information the agency will con conduct a suitability check which may include a credit check tax compliance check criminal background check check for prior non-compliance with IRS e-file requirements 
It could take up to 45 days from the date of submission for the IRS to approve an application. Once an application is approved, the IRS will mail an acceptance letter with the preparer's electronic filing identification number. There's a link to that here. More information can be found at the link below at Publication 3112 IRS e-file application and participation. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to all the other stuff I said there was a link to. So if you want to check these options out, then check out the link to this in the description.